it's Jesse with Plan with Jesse, and I'm here with my One Book July wrap up video. Today is August 1st, so I thought I would go back through and let you know what I did in the month of July. So the goal, my goals for One Book July was to, you know, stay in one book, to improve my bullet journal daily pages, to be a little more creative and spend a little more time on them, and to have a planner no spend. So I was moderately successful in each of these areas. I wouldn't give myself an A plus in any particular area, but you know, I did do fairly well. So let's go through what we have here. So the first half of July, I would say that I was very successful. The first two weeks I was meeting all of my goals. So I'm just gonna flip through. This is my bullet journal for the first part of July. I had, um, doodle challenge I was working on and I was using the circle to map um, to keep track of my mood I only got through the 10th on there and then gave that up these are my daily pages I was trying a little bit this is me doing my doodle challenge and this was my daughter's swimming uh, report card that I taped in this was my June memories page which you may have seen I I meant to make the daily page for July 3rd and I wrote June, so I turned this into a memory page, just did all the fun things that we did in, Ju uh, in June. Uh, here's July 3rd. So here was the 4th of July, made that extra pretty. 5th, I was still going well. We went to a Spongebob themed birthday party, that's why I have Gary there. Saturday, Sunday, I don't know why this is falling out. <laughs> July 10th, still going well. July 11th, um, this is when I started keeping track of what I was going to do for book two -bathon. This was while I was on vacation. Michigan that I did this. Oh, you know what? I tore some stuff out, so that's why it looks like that. And then that was it. That show you really quickly. Um, this was the weekly I was using for the first part of July. If you just want to see what that was real quick. I still haven't gone back and put photos in here. Or here. And that was it. I was in Michigan. I was experimenting with the idea of moving to a B6. So... I didn't really do daily pages while I was there because I was on vacation. You know, we were just doing fun things. I didn't really need to remember to do anything like cleaning or pay bills because I was on vacation. So, yes, when we were at grandma's house. So what I did was initially I took this, which was an A, originally an A5. And I cut it down to a B6 size, which is a B6 size is five by seven, roughly. So this was the week we went on our vacation. So this was just basically me just trying it out. And I didn't have a B6 cover, so I was using this oh, recollect. Um, I'm sorry, this Filofax um, Safiano that I took the rings out. So I was just using this to see if I liked the idea of a, of a B6, if it was something that I was gonna want to do. So. While I was on vacation, we went to Michael's and I picked up this Recollections personal size ring bound because it was half off, so it was a little less than $10. And they had these great notebooks there, which were B6 size. And these were $2 each. They were in the little baskets that they have along the pathway to where you check out. So I picked up a couple of these um, while I was on vacation. I took the rings out of this. You may have seen the video uh, where I took the rings out. And then I ordered these Uji notebooks. Um, so this was $10. Um, I got three of these, which were two each, and then five of these, which were 10 total. So my no spend was gone at that point. So I did a video showing my B6 setup when I first set it up, but I've already changed some things. So I thought I, thought I would show you uh, what changed. 
the um, the actual setup, like the dividers and stuff, is the same. I just the, some of the inserts have changed. Um, the monthly insert is the same. I've switched to this weekly layout, which is a week on two pages, Annie Plans printable. I had been doing a week, I had been drawing my own weeks in a separate um, bullet journal insert, but I decided that since I was making the same, essentially I was making the same layout, that it was sort of silly to do that and I should just buy one and print it out and have it so I didn't have to write the days in. So I really am liking this so far. Um, her weeklies also come with an extra monthly, so I'm going to use this page to do my doodle challenge. And day one was supposed to be Poppy's, so I made it look like Poppy the Troll. That's the weekly insert. And then for my daily pages, instead of using strictly blank bullet journal pages, I actually got an Annie Plans dated daily page. Now, the reason I did this mainly was, I guess, simplicity. Um, I did I did like having the plain bullet journal pages to do whatever I wanted with. I liked not having to use a whole day per page, and maybe I will decide that I want to go back to that, but I also kind of wanted to have the page per day already set up because sometimes I do want to make a to-do list for a given day and I don't want to put it on a weekly layout and then have to transfer it. So if it's a couple days away from August 2nd, for example, and if I want to make a list of things I want to do, I don't have to guess at which point in the bullet journal I'm going to get to Wednesday. So for that way, for that reason, I kind of like that. And then this last insert is still my remaining sort of bullet journal catch-all kind of collections, um, mostly collections, some YouTube stuff. I'm just using this basically as my, oops, just using this basically as my notes. So that's where I am today. So, I mean, by the time we get through the month, I've gone from this to this. So I guess I took the go big or go home challenge literally and went bigger. Um, and I'm not sure why exactly I was drawn to the B6 except for the fact that it was something different and new and I've never tried it. And I'm not finding it to be too big yet. That's usually sort of my downfall when I go to a bigger size is I feel like it's too much to carry around. And so far I'm not there yet so hopefully um, this continues to work out and I continue to enjoy this size. Um, yeah, so I'll do another update video maybe at the end of August to let you know where my system is at that point. Um, yeah, so One Book July, was it a success? I don't know. I don't know how you define success in something like this, but uh, it's always fun to, to try a challenge and I had fun trying something new and moving on to the B6. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos Monday and Wednesday. So thanks for watching. Bye.